How many of you have a problem with procrastination? Raise your hands. A large number of you. I cannot, cannot, cannot tell you how important the concept of mental chatter and keeping tabs on it is. It quite literally is running your life and quite literally the vast overwhelming majority of the problems you have, of the problems you think you have, can be tied back in one way or the other to mental chatter and your ignorance of mental chatter. It's, I cannot overstate its importance. I'll give you one example. How many of you have a problem with procrastination? Raise your hands. A large number of you. In many, many, many instances, the reason you procrastinate is because of your mental chatter. Let's say you had a, you threw a party and it was a wonderful party and everybody's gone and you're happy and there's this huge pile of dishes in the sink. And you say, ah, I'm going to do that tomorrow morning. Now tell me, do you honestly believe that you are going to like doing it in the morning more than just getting it done? Absurd, right? But why don't you do it right now? Because it's your mental chatter going, I don't like to do the dishes. Why should I have the dishes? I'd rather watch that new thriller on Netflix. Let me do that. I'll do it in the morning. It's always your mental chatter. Think about it. Every time you're pushing off writing that report which you know you should get done, it's your mental chatter telling you, why should I do this? I don't want to do this. I'd rather be doing something else. And if you recognize that it's your mental chatter that is speaking, and you learn to ignore the mental chatter, and you simply say, yeah, but you know, let me start doing one dish. And you get into investing in the process, not the outcome you'll find that even the most distasteful task becomes less distasteful and almost enjoyable, or if not enjoyable, at least agreeable enough that you're not revolting against it, and eventually it'll get done. So for those of you for whom procrastination is a problem, examine the role that mental chatter is playing in your inability to do what you're supposed to be doing. If you get a handle on your mental chatter, you'll find that procrastination significantly declines and may even vanish. And that's just one example of many of the ways in which mental chatter is keeping you a prisoner.